cutting right colors, to you. Colors the shirt, Brad. It's I, think I got a case. It's purple too. You know, at least you've gone all in. You've embraced <laughs> <laughs> embraced your inevitable Just future. The stupidity. Like it's um yeah. I I I don't know. I got nothing for you today. It's um <laughs> uh actually I do have a question for our listeners. Mm-hmm. Um, Miami. I don't know if that place I sent you is going to work out. I'm afraid it's going to be too busy because it's right next to where we're going. Right. So if anybody knows of a bar where we can um, hang out on Tuesday of next week in Miami, particularly near the Fountain Blue, or however it's called, um, hotel. We should... uh, Why the Fountain Blue? Because that's where the conference is that we're going to. Gotcha. Uh, You should tweet this if you haven't. No, I haven't. I just kind of realized that this morning. Um, So if you're in the mic... I mean, do so. And uh, just remind me, so I'll retweet it. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll get something. Yep. So if you're in the Miami area and you know something that's hopefully walkable um, from that location, let us know. And we will be there Tuesday evening. And you can come hang out with us if that's what your prerogative is. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's important that this place has um, fancy drinks with little umbrellas. Am I missing the point of this event? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, so uh, this this yeah. came, I think, out of Google's earnings. What's they are going to start putting advertisements on their... I don't think it's on desktop, not Google.com, but on their mobile... Pages. People are completely misunderstanding what this is. It, more Google has an app called yep. Google. Hmm. And in the Google app, you see a feed. And if you use an Android phone, you can actually see that feed by swiping over to the left from the leftmost home screen in Android. And uh, sometimes it's – actually, I think they renamed it to Discover. It's like the Discover feed. I will say that it is one of my top three – reading uh, sources of information mm-hmm. on mobile. I, I use it all the time. I use it so much that I put the Google app on my iPad, so I, I launch it manually from there. Mm-hmm. Um, I save articles that I want to really, uh, read later from there to Pocket. And so over time, it kind of tailors itself to the things you like. And you can go in and say, I don't like this kind of thing, or I don't want to hear about the Houston Astros or whatever. You know, some, some, Can't imagine some why you want to hear about the Houston Astros. I don't Astros. know why I came up with that example. I actually <laughs> like the Houston Astros. <laughs> That's a very particular um, well, I, I, the reason I thought of that is because I, I see a lot of Red Sox stuff in my feed. Mm-hmm. And because I do that, it will occasionally show me information about other baseball teams. And it's like, I don't want to, I'm not here to read about baseball generally. I just, I just care about the Red Sox or whatever. Sure. So anyway, so my, my feed is a, a, a semi <laughs> a ridiculous combination of, um, you know, Van Halen and Star Wars and, <laughs> you know, Boston sports, whatever. Um, and I like it a lot. And yeah, mm-hmm. and what you're saying is they're going to start putting ads in there because, of course, they are. They're, they're Google. Yeah. They, uh, yeah. I think they've just been holding that one up there, being like, saying, you know what, when revenue starts to kind of, or you know, when table, there are enough people actually using this thing, yeah, let's that, monetize it. You know, yeah, I'm sure it's a pretty easy yeah. question for them. Be like, okay, if we put an ad there, how much money we're going to make? Like, yeah, that's sizable. So. To defend them briefly, and I'm and very briefly, mm-hmm. I will say that in, at, Instagram is an example of an app, and it's Facebook owned, right? Yep. That I actually kind of dig the the ads that I see in, in Instagram, and those two are tailored in a way. I, I I can't remember if there's a way to go in and say I don't want to see ads like this anymore. There probably is, but mm-hmm. you know, like if I I should just bring it up really quickly. Um, if I go in, in into Instagram, it is like this. I just want to see what comes up. Yeah, it's like, well, Amazon Prime Video. Okay, whatever. That's no big deal. Um, that's not an ad. It's like I'm trying to find an ad. Yeah, Peel, which is a company that makes yeah. smartphone cases that I really like, kind of minimalist mm-hmm. smartphone cases. Are they purple? Uh, There's a thing called – I'm sorry? Do they make purple one? <laughs> probably. Actually, probably they do. Uh, Displate, which is a, a company that makes a giant poster size images of cities and things, mm-hmm. including like maps of cities and stuff. And it's you know it's like minimalist wallets. It's like kind of it's like kind of things that I am you know kind of weirdly interested in. Like I, <laughs> Brian, Ryan Day, <laughs> did you see this? He posted a picture yeah. of his kid. Drew, was, I hate you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I I texted him or messaged him. I said, finally, uh, your kid and I have something in common. That is beautiful. That's really funny. Anyway, um, so I, I it's possible that. Google will get this right. Like maybe Google, this is like a little Windows thing. You cannot, you cannot even imagine what just popped up right there. Oh, I can see it. It says Windows 10 update assistant is already running. 
It's on my face. This is this is this is the brilliance of Windows 10 and the software as a service model is that um, you just lose all control of well your PC and your bowels all at one time. It's just fantastic. Let me go fix that. <laughs> anyway, to complete the thought, <laughs> um, it's possible they'll get it right. I mean, I, 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 I've kind of argued against this notion of like tailored advertising because what's the difference? But like I said, you know, in Instagram, I, 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 I find myself looking at that stuff. You know, everything I despise fact, about advertising. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. The only thing I get on Instagram is advertisements for all birds, the shoes. They will yeah, not go nice away. Like that, that's right. that's all I get. That's apparently all I'm interested in. And I don't even, like I know some people are really obsessed about shoes. Yeah. Um, I buy like a $16, $17 pair of sh like knockoff boat shoes mm -hmm. on Amazon. Just like I almost honestly, I, I could probably set them up on like a three-month cycle. Like they show up, yeah, I wear them for yeah, three yeah, months. Like a then a shoe they, subscription as yeah. they fall apart. And then they turn into grass cutting shoes and then they go into the trash. Like, what they should have is a sensor in the sole so that when that sensor is exposed to some kind of pressure because the sole has been worn mm -hmm. away, it will just automatically order yeah, itself. But see, that would increase the price of my probably um, very cheaply Trimble. made boat shoes. But they're comfortable and I like them. <laughs> and they're gray and they're whatever. Like yeah. I, yeah. I looked at like actual name brand ones and they were like 90 bucks in my way. And I look at these things and they're like, they're, they are no joke under 20 bucks. Do you and, remember we? I think we were at Build and we saw someone who had shoes on that we thought were kind of interesting, and we asked about them, and they were just Nike sneakers. Do you remember? Yeah. Those? No. Who, do you remember I don't. who that was? No. Okay. No. So I, w I wasn't sure if you were there, but yeah, they look kind of cool. And then you know he kind of pulled up the bottom of his pants. You could see like they were they were just like, they had a Nike logo on them. Mm -hmm. Like oh, they're just kind of like sneakers, I guess. But they look they look cool. It was the first time I ever looked at a pair of shoes and was like oh, kind of neat. Of course, I have freakishly large gorilla feet, so I can't. Can't wear most shoes. You know. Yeah, I, I just I wear boat shoes like ninety eight and a half percent of the time, and that two percent time I'm not. It's usually flip flops because I'm at the beach or going to a pool, <laughs> nice. which I'm doing wow. on Friday. So yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm still blown away by that. By the way, but that yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, I, me too. Uh, my wife uh, talks about Friday as I was voluntold um, what I'll be doing. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Oh my god. Okay. This, this has been a whatever. Uh, back to things that probably people might care about. Whatever. Microsoft put out a new patch for XP because uh, Intel can't build secure chips. Yeah, so those are related, right? That's yeah. what that's from? It's the Intel thing? It has yeah. to be. Yeah. Um, because I saw the Microsoft thing first, and then Intel went live with their disclosure like late in the day. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait a minute. Like, th these things have to be related, you know? And... Um, Man, Intel's doing everything they can to make sure you buy a new Intel processor because <laughs> their old deal now is like, yeah, we can sort of fix it. Yeah, really. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt like 20%-ish, yeah. you know? Yeah. At one point, it, and I'm I'm sure this is coming up somewhere. There's going to be a class action over this. Like you bought a product based mm -hmm. on X specifications and then yep. over the past 24 months, you've lost like 30% yep. of the performance of it. The other thing is there's kind of a stink bomb around this one, too, because a bunch mm -hmm. of security researchers came to Intel, uh, I think a month ago, and said, hey, by the way, we found this stuff. It's just like Spectre and Meltdown, except it's even worse. And Intel was like, yeah, we knew that. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, they're kind of pretending they were all over it. Yeah. And it's like, um, OK, <laughs> then why haven't you said anything to anybody? Because mm -hmm. that's what Intel does, folks. They sit yeah. on it. See, I'm wondering if I could just take all my personal data, just put it in a box and put it out in the middle of the street and then not mm -hmm. install these patches because then I don't have to worry about security anymore and mm -hmm. just keep the video rendering speed, which is honestly what I need most with because right after this, I go crunch the video, which is a 30-minute process. Yeah, maybe those computers need to be disconnected from the internet. You know? I would disconnect this computer from the internet if I could, if we could still podcast mm -hmm. somehow. But Right. You could just use the thumb drive or something. Instead, we just get these updates that just pop up on... On my face, yeah. Convenient. Yeah. It, Convenient. Was, it looked like it was purpley, too. It was kind of color It actually... Coded. So, that's... I, yeah, actually, that's the color theme that I use. Um, Interesting. It, well, I will... In my defense, my daughter did pick it, and um, she she audits me if I change it. She will... She audits you. She will come and be like, Dad, why is it not purple? Like, the color I picked. It was so pretty. Oh, my God. 
I got. A, I took a screenshot of that, by the way. I'll be Can you? putting that on Twitter as yet another screed against Win. Yeah. Please tell me that was you. Did you hit the space bar? I, I was in a different app. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Not going to admit to that. <laughs> it's only, <laughs> only like it's been recorded. So, anyway, so yeah. Maybe it's a Windows user. Windows Update Assistant is already running, Brad. That's probably why the machine won't install the update. I tried to do it again yesterday, and it rolled back. Even though I picked Sunday, I don't trust it to actually turn on while I'm traveling to Miami and actually updating. <laughs> yes. You this never know. Stupid. You never know. I don't know. There's not too much else going on today other no, than really Intel, Intel dropping the ball. Oh, 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 oh. So I got the Google Assistant thing installed for Sonos. This is actually oh. somewhat interesting. You might like this. Because I have too many Sonos speakers, um, what you can do is you can actually set them up independent. So like the one in the kitchen is set up with the Amazon uh, and the one actually, in my that's a good idea. The one in my office is, is set up with Google. That way everybody's just listening to all the arguments my wife and I have and um, stream it to the internet. But it's actually actually I was not expecting that. I figured it was just going to be you got to choose one and it's on all of them. And so the question was you were asking if you could cast to them, which I don't know. Cast. I wonder if I can do it from well, I should be able to do it from Chrome. Looking for devices. Let's see what it let's see what it finds. No devices found. Yeah. Which is funny because this is a device behind me that I'm actually casting to right now. That's the casting bit is the thing I care about the most. Honestly, being able to talk to the speaker is less interesting to me, but yeah. if you can cast to it, I could make that part of the whole house audio thing and it would kind of start well, what, to make sense. What audio service do you use? Uh, Google Play Music. Uh, see, I don't have that one. I was going to say if you use Spotify, it doesn't matter. It would work anyways. So uh, actually, Google Play Music works the same way with Spotify, but I don't believe you can target two different types of uh, speakers at once. So mm. for example... I have everything else on Chromecast, right? So yep. I could control Sonos with the app directly, or I could go through the Sonos app, like that would work too, but it would only work for those Sonos speakers, right? All mm -hmm. the other speakers would not be included in, you know what I mean? Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, so pretty So if I could use useless. them as Chromecast, I could add them to a whole house audio thing yeah. with other Chromecast-based speakers. I suspect you probably can't do that. Yeah, that I can't, I'm not gonna bother. Yeah. Yep. So that's that. Anyways, uh, you got anything else for today other than disconnecting um, the call? <laughs> no, not really. No. Good. No, not really. Good. How about you? Um. No, there. No, I. <laughs> I guess I was. I had like seven thoughts in my head, all mm -hmm. including trying to find a place for Miami, um, for us to go do right. whatever. Right. And then, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. So anyways, all right, folks, that wraps it up for today. Thanks for hanging out. We'll be back uh, next time.